Jakarta is the world's fastest sinking city. Every monsoon season is a reminder of the worsening crisis as large parts of the city are once again submerged. In Jakarta's east, thousands of people were moved to safety as floodwaters reached up to 1.8 metres high in some areas. Rescuers and police worked together to help people escape. The water in my home is still chest high. All my belongings got flooded. I tried to put them somewhere higher, but then last night the water also went higher. The Indonesian capital is home to about 10 million people and thousands are now without power. Many here are so accustomed to this recurring disaster, they choose to wait it out on balconies and roofs. Flooding is an annual event here in Jakarta. It's something that this community in East Jakarta is well accustomed to. But this year, many communities which have never experienced severe flooding before are doing so for the first time. And scientists say Jakarta's local government must act faster to save this sinking city. In the relatively affluent area of Kemang, people told Al Jazeera they have never experienced such severe flooding. Jakarta's governor, Anis Baswedan, says local authorities are working swiftly to assist everyone. Our main and top priority is to make sure the people are safe. We don't want to see any casualties. And we've prepared evacuation centres for people who are affected by the torrential rain. But this crisis is about more than just rain. Experts have criticised the governor for failing to act and for blaming the rain when there are other factors contributing to the floods. River normalisation projects have been delayed and scaled back, despite experts saying they would help ease the annual flooding. And excessive groundwater extraction and the destruction of adequate green spaces mean the city is sinking at an even faster rate. Jakarta has an obligation to fix its drainage and complete river normalisation projects. This is to increase the function and capacity of the rivers, to contain the rainfall without causing floods. Forced from their homes without their toys, it's not the first time these children have played in floodwaters and it likely won't be the last. As thousands of Indonesians are forced to leave their homes and belongings once again, many are asking what it will take for the authorities to act. Jessica Washington, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.